warmed up. Uh, I like to combine my love of music with uh, my love of physics, and I play only keyboard instruments, so I wanted a, a wind instrument. So my kids got one of these. Uh, it's a little slow in response, uh, but you can actually play uh, taps on it if you do just the right thing. But it does teach uh, at least three or four different physics concepts. And uh, your kids at home probably have them. My kids uh, operate it most often by screaming into it. My, pitch, my voice isn't high pitched enough and their voice would come out uh, trumpeting effect. Certain frequencies are selected out of their voice, certain tones, and it sounds like a trumpeting elephant. In fact, that's probably why an elephant does trumpet. It's got its tube, right? It's trunk. And it gets standing waves in this trunk as the air goes through it. Uh, so one of the first questions we might have, uh, by the way, if you can't get one of these for about a dollar at a toy store, this one came from KB Toys about a mile away. You can use uh, swimming pool tubing, available in swimming pool supplies. Somebody in my head with this one. Oh. Okay. So you should have seen some smoke coming out then, I hope. <laughs> now with uh, with a short puff of smoke, such as we often get from using a soda straw, which you have in your sack, I don't suggest you burn them, but you can light them on fire and eject a brief puff of smoke and actually time the length of time it takes for the smoke to go through and find the speed of the air in this for any particular tone. And doing that, you can actually show that the sound is produced by the little corrugations as the air goes past a restriction, it has to speed up to get through the narrow gap, comes past an old, a larger opening, slows down, producing vibrations in the air column. And uh, you can actually quantitatively find that if you multiply the number of corrugations per length, like number of vibrations given to the air uh, per meter, multiply that by the speed of the air through the tube in meters per second, you get the frequency of the sound. It can easily be done, but we don't want to get that detailed tonight with a long tube like this because it takes about two seconds to go through. If those uh, Kriga horns are too expensive for you, uh, these are party papers from Kmart. Uh, about probably six of them for a dollar or something like that and these can be not ripped around but blown through we get different harmonics the very same principle now you might wonder why can't we get the uh, larger tubes to work by to work by blowing through them but you can't and the answer is, uh, even physics teachers aren't windy enough. <laughs> it requires about two liters of air per second to produce this tone. That tone, all right? Which is 800 hertz. We've uh, compared it on a musical instrument. Uh, your students probably have musical instruments and can find which note of the scale and we can look up what frequency that is. 
Now you can do resonant uh, tooth very nicely with this, uh, showing that a standing wave is formed in the tube. The simplest kind of standing wave is to have the air rushing in and out each end towards the center, producing what we call a node in the center. And that will be a half wavelength of a standing wave. And then there's a mode that can vibrate called the second harmonic, which is twice that frequency with two nodes, uh, anti-nodes at each end always, three nodes, third harmonic, fourth no four nodes, fourth, fourth harmonic, which is this particular sound that you hear, that one. Uh, and we can also do some things with uh, music showing how this uh, goes on musical scale. For example, that tone is G, very close. That's a musical fourth below it, up a fourth, up a third. These are musical terms. Third means first on the scale with the third tone. And we can get a whole series, we can get a major triad. Thank you very much. Uh...